and hi everyone, welcome back to day 13 of designing an island without spending any bells. No news today. <laughs> breaking. <laughs> All right, I have to admit, I took a day off to kind of recover because I bit my tongue and I couldn't speak for the life of me. It really hurt. So now I'm back and if I have like a lisp or anything, I'm really sorry. Anyways, I did take that time to redesign some paths and stuff, which I'll show you in a second. But first, how about we do our morning quest? I'm gonna find my bottle on the beach, find who's crafting, and water my flowers. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but <laughs> Check it out. Isn't that so cool? Basically, I took the time to make a actual path. I wanted the spooky factor and what better way to do that than bricks. Dark bricks at that. I can't even explain how hard it was and how time consuming making these were because I used a program that basically converted an image into like a pattern for this. And then I had to painstakingly dot by dot exactly put where the colors were supposed to go. You know what, honestly, I'll just, I'll, I'll show you the program because it it's so life-saving. If you want to make your own pass, literally use it. I'm telling you. So here's a space that I did. Um, I wanted another entrance and yeah, I think it looks so good. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself, honestly. It definitely has more of a spooky factor than the dirt path and I like this a lot more. Oh yeah, my for sale sign. Do you guys like it? I also used the, the thing that I was talking about too for the for sale. I guess I could just show you guys my designs that I did. So I did this keep out sign. I have obviously these things and then I, I showed you the rest. Oh, my flag. Right, right, right. Okay, so I took your guys' suggestion and it's not the greatest, but here's my flag. Do you guys like it? <laughs> I could have done better, honestly, but I don't have that many colors because most of the colors were used for the pair, but it's okay. It gets its point across. And yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, I should show you guys the gorilla lane. Look at it. Isn't it good? <laughs> I'm so proud. The custom path really adds that oomph factor, you know? I love it. I still have to make more tiles of this kind because uh, I need it like angled but you know i do want to go to Cap'n islands because i need pumpkins i'm in dire need of pumpkins i have so many diy recipes that contain pumpkins it's not even funny look at these look at them oh another thing too i have so much information i've been playing like too much and i just have so many things to say but i also want to get into making some blood splatters and stuff too and of course i'll be using the thing that i was talking about to do that but yeah i need to do lots of things there's still lots to do Honestly, I feel like we're at a pretty good place right now, building wise and such. I think the only part that I'm struggling at is getting villagers that I need, but that will come with time. I'm sure of it. I also want to get into making the library from Mott. I have some custom designs all planned out already and I just, all I need to do is basically put idea on paper. <laughs> In today's video, it's probably going to be a lot of building. I'm not going to lie, but I'm sure you guys don't mind. How about we just do the paths first? I finished the path. As you can see, I made some diagonal paths. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. I'm so happy with the way that it looks. Mixed in with the dirt paths too. Oof, oof, that's just, it's doing something to me. Butt cheek. <laughs> Butt cheek path. I think I'm definitely gonna keep the dirt path for the museum. I don't know. I like how abandoned looking, I guess. Let's see how many nook miles we have. Okay, so we could go for a cap and island. Hopefully I get pumpkins because I'm in <laughs> dire need of pumpkins. Cap and island, cap and island. Oh yeah, I still need to fix this path and stuff, but cap and island, <laughs> cap and island. Hello, Cap'n. It's been a while. I'm too broke to come on your Cap'n tours. I'm sorry. I read a comment where someone said it pains them to see me spend all these nook miles but I can't do anything else that's the only currency I can have it's hard okay it's a hard life living this way do you guys miss the clapping eh eh little clap for you guys any pumpkins hello <laughs> no very sad well I'm just gonna take the trees and I think that's probably it ah I have an eyelash in my eyeball ah it's still in my eyeball it's gonna probably be there for the rest of the recording too well that sucks for me <laughs> is there really not that many trees on this freaking island? I'm very disappointed. Wow, seriously? Only two trees? All right, take me home. I forgot what I said in the beginning of the video. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I kind of want to build the cemetery. I'm not gonna lie. And I know a perfect spot for it too. First, I need some iron nuggets because I got to finish one build at the nooks and cranny. Did I spend a thousand nook miles just for a rope fence? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. And I'm probably only gonna use like a couple pieces of fencing too, which is unfortunate, but I gotta do it for the build, you know? All right, so here's why I want 
want the fencing. It adds so much though. Come on. I like it. I like it. Okay, how about we empty out my pockets, pick up the things that I need for my cemetery, and get on that. I was also considering of making some custom designs with skeletons, you know, like skeletal bones or <laughs> skeletons <laughs> or just putting the gravestone and calling it quits and i might just do that just plop down a gravestone and call it quits ma don't you dare don't i'm not in the mood for this i'm just i'm not i really don't like you right now ma i'm gonna be honest no you're taking advantage of me how dare you you can't go you just can't don't you know that you can't just perish off of perish okay how dare you how dare you i'm so insulted that you would ever suggest leaving i work so hard to keep you here i care for you sort of rude just rude. Does this look like an eyeball, by the way? This was my attempt at an eyeball because I wanted to do those tricky thingies when the eyeball follows you. No? Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Ooh, I should probably make my rock garden too in the, the cemetery. I don't know why, but I it just looks like a good idea. I'm gonna go show you guys the spot that I want to build the cemetery. Uh, it's actually past here. Go all the way back here, up to the cliff, through the trees, if I could get through. There you go. <laughs> climb the cliff, climb another cliff, and there you go we're here so we got a nice open space here actually a really long space okay uh probably gonna have to shorten this cliff not gonna lie i don't want it that long but yeah up here i'm thinking the cemetery is gonna go rest in peace all the cute villagers that moved off my island this is where you're gonna pass on <laughs> your body because i guess the theory is that someone oofed them off the island which it's kind of funny to me. <laughs> just they had a bad conversation one day with, with the murderer. And then he decided, yep, yeah, that's it. You're done for. So let's get constructing. I'm going to take down part of the cliff. <laughs> Why was that so hard to think about? I really struggled to think of the word cliff. Anyways, I'm going to go do that. Enjoy this little speed video clip. Okay, so I finally destroyed basically part of the cliff. We are left with this small chunk. Well, it's not really that small, but still a lot smaller than it was. All right, so I don't really care for symmetry. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like throwing things just around and that's exactly what we're gonna do for this method too. We're just gonna throw these stone tablets around, place them in spots that we think looks good and maybe zhuzh them around a bit to make them look better. All right, there we go. And then what I'm gonna do is put some custom paths on the ground, just dirt you know pretend like oh it's been dug up or something let's just be creative okay all right there we go it's already looking pretty good i'm very happy um uh, oh frick i forgot to build more spiky fence i oh, know wait hold on i oh, know okay i got it never mind just gonna probably wrap it around kind of break it apart too because i don't want it the cemetery to be old and also i just need space to climb up looking pretty good do i have bushes on me i do okay perfect just gonna add them maybe here not there here <laughs> all Alright, alright. Liking how this looks. Is there anything else? I have vines, which I'm obviously gonna add to the cliff's edge because I can't make any inclines. So luckily we have vines to get up cliffs and stuff. I'm glad they look dead. <laughs> All right, there we go. Liking how it looks. I don't think I'll be able to fit any rocks up here. Huh, that's okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> we'll find another place for the rocks. It's fine. Okay, something I want to quickly do too is the pear orchard that I was talking about, I think in yesterday's video. So I'm going to replace all these veggies with just pear trees and apple trees. Like I was saying, pears are an invasive type of fruit on this island. So we're just going to go and get our pears and apple trees. All right, little veggies, you got to get out. Crumploid, I give you permission to guard this house house now, okay? I know you're not part of the band, but you can guard this house. He reassured me that he will keep watch of this house. All right, as you can see, the pear invasive trees have been planted. There is like a couple of apple trees growing here, but they're just, <laughs> they're growing. Give them time, they're coming. T-bone, mister, you got some explaining to do. Also, I think I'm just gonna add the windmill since I have to, I had to move it. I think I'll just put it here for now. Honestly, looks good. Crumploid, you're coming with me now. I want to take you home, buddy. You deserve to be in the band. Oh, we got a balloon. Balloon mode activated. All right, let's see if I could get it. There we go. Can't escape me. Or on second thought, you probably could have, and I probably should have just let you escape. Stop giving me garbage. All right, Crumploid, make yourself at home. There you go, buddy. Look at him go. He's so cute. My gyroid band is amazing. All right, so I think the last thing that I'm gonna do, probably the library. Oh no, and then the blood splatters. Right, right, okay. Oh, frick, the eyelash came back into my eyeball. 
I thought I got rid of you. Ow. Just blink it away. Uh, I think I got it. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the website that I used. It's not sponsored or anything, by the way. I just, I really like the website because it was very useful to me. Okay, so here it is. It's called acpatterns.com. And as you can see, I imported an image and this, it was a bookshelf and then it made it into like this digital format. And then if you press these, you get your colors. So then I would open up my editor, go on a blank space and basically change the colors to those numbers. And yes, I did that for the brick path. And yes, it did take me a very long time. So how about let's go ahead and do that. Just give me a moment as this is gonna take forever. All right, so I have my colors down. I'm just gonna erase these things. And I think this is a good way to also make your own custom pass if you don't have online or anything like that. But I, I have to warn you, it is very time consuming. So what I do now is I go on the first color. I make it super bright that stands out. So then I could see where I can place the dots. So let's place the dots. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to record this because I am like recording on this screen on my computer monitor and while I have another monitor to watch my gameplay and stuff so yeah I think it'll be a back and forth thing I'll just see you when it's done okay and we're back um so <laughs> what I wanted to do didn't work out at all I didn't realize that they didn't have the standy cutout thing so I kind of had to DIY it myself and this is what I have <laughs> It's not the greatest, but it'll do. Also, I got hungry and now I have some fruit gummies with me. Would you like a fruit gummy? Here, go ahead, <laughs> take a bite. It's yummy. This one is strawberry, yummy. All right, so we're gonna start on Mott's little library section and I was planning on putting it here. I also wanted to make a bakery, but I want a villager to also be there. So I guess it'll be like a jointed kind of business area. Or actually I could build it right here. That would be nice. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. Nothing's stopping me except for these flowers, which I will get rid of <laughs> pronto. Never mind. I forget that my pockets are full all the time. All right, let's go deal with the problem. Remind me to buy the stall too with the nook miles. I don't think I have enough right now to be honest, but <laughs> just remind me. I think it was like 3,000. I don't remember, honestly. Okay, so hold on. Wait, should I maybe move Mott's house first? Um, oh, I guess I have to. Hi guys. All right, let's talk infrastructure. Let's move Mott's house. Give him the little library that he deserved. Actually, no, he doesn't deserve it at all, but I'm being nice enough to give it to him anyways. He wanted to move out. Like, what the heck was that? The audacity in that man. You better be grateful mister. Okay, so let's kind of plan this out. I still want room for trees, but I also need to take into consideration of Mott's house. So we're going to use my pear flake here to plan everything out. Okay, so maybe here will be trees. Here will be Mott's house. Something like that. Oh, you know what? I could always put the house over here and kind of like have a business here. Yeah, that works. I need food. Give me food. <laughs> I don't know why I took out the shovel to do that. Fruit gummy. Pop quiz, what's your guys' favorite fruit gummy? Nice. All right, so Mott's house is placed down and here will be the library. It'll be a small library, just saying. I don't have any books to make the bookshelves. That's why I made my own custom DIY bookshelves. I'm back and I did finish the library. As you can see, it is quite nice. A spooky, what's the word called? What is it called? Dark Academia type of vibe going on. That's what I wanted and I got it. But honestly, I think that's gonna be it. I'm sorry that it was just a short build and stuff and it probably wasn't that interesting, but I will come back tomorrow and decorate Mott's house, which will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. This flea knows secrets that we don't know about. Likewise, little buddy. Likewise. Likewise.